Well, it's hard to believe the 4th of July is a week and a half away. As we gear up for the fun, many of those holiday plans include fireworks. It's the same morning every single year after year. Far too many of those celebrations and with visits to the emergency room. ABC 6 News reporter Jordan Sansom joins us now. And Jordan, it's a message worth repeating when it comes to fireworks. Be sure to handle with care. Yes, Robin, according to the Minnesota Medical Association, they say they see way too many kids and adults in the emergency room due to firework related injuries. Most of the accidents are deemed preventable. As people look to spice up their 4th of July this year with fireworks, it's important to take the necessary precautions to avoid injuries. What we see are uh, injuries to the hands and fingers, head, face, ears and eyes. According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, around 11,500 people were treated in emergency departments in 2021. Nine people died because of injuries. The highest rate of injuries occurred to young adults ages 20 to 24. Dr. Will Nicholson, the president of the Minnesota Medical Association, suggests to leave it to the professionals. We want people to be safe. We want them to have fun. We don't want their 4th of July to be punctuated by a visit to the emergency room. Fireworks are legally allowed for sale in Minnesota and Iowa, but they have distinct differences. In Minnesota, only non-explosive and non-aerial fireworks are allowed to be sold, where in Iowa, most consumer-grade fireworks are allowed to be sold. In both states, you have to at least be 18 years old to purchase fireworks. We have, we'll check the IDs to make sure they're 18. Tim Backley has been selling fireworks in Rochester for 22 years, and despite them being non-explosive, he urges the public to be careful with them as they can still cause harm. Um, there's no reason why you should be within 10 feet of any, any of these sparklers or uh, fountains because it, it, could spray, it could spray in a 10-foot diameter at, on some of these fountains. If you do plan to set off any fireworks for the 4th of July, it's important to keep them out of the hands of children. Backley also suggests after you set them off to hose them down with water or let them cool off before disposing of them. Live in the newsroom, Jordan Sansom, ABC 6 News. All right.